As we've been telling you, new fears, another round of COVID-19 closures could come as early as tomorrow as a record number of one-day cases is and has been reported in L.A. County. NBC4's Robert Kovacic joins us live in the newsroom right now with more on what that could look like. Robert. Colleen, businesses behaving badly will be punished. The L.A. County Board of Supervisors approving a plan to first fine restaurants that don't comply with health orders, then close them down. But what about other businesses who say they're following the rules and may soon find out that still may not be enough? What more do they want from us? It would be devastating. It would put a lot of people out of business. The Professional Beauty Federation of California today warning its members a second round of compelled closures may be upon us. Rosia Barra, who owns a salon in Glendale, says it doesn't make sense. Everyone has been more than cooperative, more than uh, careful. Same at Ben De Don's salon in Santa Monica. We feel that we are adhering to the protocols. We are safe and that we're not part of the problem. Hair salons could possibly suffer like restaurants that were recently ordered to suddenly stop indoor dining. We can do better than this. A coalition of almost three dozen chambers from across the state insisting on a three-point recovery plan. It includes giving cash to businesses dealing with unanticipated closures and a task force to coordinate a coherent long-term plan. We need to look at sustainable solutions to protect public health, while protecting the economy over the next one to three years. And, and just shutting down isn't good enough. Right now for so many. I'm already 120,000 in the hole. A struggle for survival. We uh, have probably made as many deals with the landlords as we can. And now possible solutions. There's a lot of great operators out there that spent those, their monies to, to be ready to welcome gas safely and responsibly. Um, and. We need to support them. The California Coalition for Safe Reopening says there is no data showing indoor dining has any correlation to a spike in coronavirus cases. Hair salons are echoing that as well. The Professional Beauty Federation of California says they may know their fate as early as tomorrow if they must shut their doors in L.A. County once again. Up in our newsroom, I'm Robert Kavasek. Colleen, let's go back to you. All right, Robert.